Hey everyone, Harry here. Welcome back to Project Ozone 3 Kappa Mode. Yes, we are back in episode 3. Wow, 3 episodes already. Nice. I've already got some stuff going. Behind me I have got my iron furnaces and inside my iron furnaces I have 48 iron and 96 iron. Just because I want to upgrade these. From flint to iron. Perfect. Done. Hey, there's another quest complete. Now with the iron meshes we do get some upgrades from the gravel and things like that. So if we quickly go gravel and you. So we go from uh, this recipe thing here to this one here. So we get diamonds and emeralds which is a 8.8% chance of a drop not too bad but it does allow us to upgrade the furnaces even further it allows us to get some more things built and things like that so we also go from a drop chance of 20 percent for gold up to 20 percent for gold what it drops a diamond i thought we'd get a bigger chance Ooh, iron's 100 percent all the time though maybe it works different from the other stuff then Hmm, I don't know. But we do get redstone as well. I think we got that with flint. No, no, we get iron. But we do get redstone, which is going to be a big one we're going to need later down the road. Huge one, because a lot of stuff is going to need a lot of redstone, even for <laughs> the basic stuff. But we have got this one to do today. Uh, quickly grab the rack. So we are going on to the advanced tinker stuff, which will allow us to double our ore output and allow us to create things like iron blocks and stuff for the cobblestone generators and upgrades and things like that. And allow us to start progressing into other stuff as well as some embers. Embers is going to be a big one to begin with, but for that we are going to need a lot of grout. Which means we need a lot. I do not need anything from that, thank you. Uh, a lot of cobblestone, a lot of clay, gravel, and sand. Oh, it's, it's gonna be nuts. I, th I, th I just think we're gonna, we're gonna need a lot of stuff, aren't we? Right, let's see what this works out to be in total. Five. We need more than that. Uh, oh, no, wait, that's five each. Yeah, that should that should be that should be all right. Okay, so grab that back out, and we will hammer the bejesus out of all this. Did I put everything away? I did. So I was that one. Yeah, right. So that's that. And then um, we'll. Do that and then we'll take them back out. This just keeps us in line. Oh, why am I doing that when I have that? I always forget about it. Ta da! And then that'll do that and then we can get them out and create a load of dust. Perfect. Right, so first up is the dust. That's going to be the annoying thing at the moment. Um, I don't have. Oh wait, no. Oh yes, yes. Uh, iron. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Wait a minute. I could make two of these, can I? Yeah. Nice. Uh, we can make a hopping bonsai. Uh, right. So, quick look at that done. Um, need some wood chest because this is easier. Uh, we'll break you. Perfect. Uh, they're going on. Uh, chests. Just, just, just. One, two. We will we'll stick it over here. We'll 
like over here just now. to just stop working altogether. Right, and then the dirt, and then the sun. And there we go, we have automatic trees getting done, which is amazing. Uh, sticks, you, you, uh, and then we'll throw them in there so that they're all together. Right, uh, apples. What was I doing again? Clay. Yes, clay. Perfect. And then we can just jump over here, take all this out, decompress that. And that, and then we have lots of Grout. I am Grout. And then we can jump over here. Shove that on top, put all of that in. Oh wow, too much. And when we go out of here and we get our upgrades here and we get a rack and then we get a grout and we get 32 more grout. That's like amazing. Um but no, I don't know if we'll need all that now. Uh no. I need forty two ingots and then the rest can go into like blocks like um, the, the base and stuff but at the same time I also need more clay <laughs> and bone um, thankfully clay is quite an easy one to get these days there we go so the reason I need this is one two three yep I need Another hopping bonsai and another faucet. Faucet, the faucets, the faucet is important. And I just realised how much of an idiot I actually am. I don't need the porcelain bricks because they don't make what I want. I need the porcelain clay to then craft it. <sighs> idiot. Absolute idiot. Yeah, that's exactly what I needed. I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot. Right, next I actually want to make something that is useful. Um, I need some Labs, I need some glass, I need some stone. Right, so I need one, two, three, four, five of that. I need one, two, four. Some glass. And then I need a clock. I need this one. That needs more stone and some redstone. One, two, three, four. Stick. Hmm. 
Right. We will do the clock first, quick and easy. Did I fire you? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. And then I can literally put that there, and that will run, and it will automatically click that, allowing that to pour. Okay, stuff done. Uh, we can now mine this, run over here, and do that. And then we can do that. And then we can do that. Perfect. So we're now up to an emerald furnace. And we can also claim 15 rack as well as furnace kits. Love these things. Next one up is Ender Pearl. Which is quite easy when you think about it. So we've done that. That's fairly easy. Our next step is actually this now. So we're going to jump over here. We are going to make them. Make that. Make that. We're losing the, the lab that was in it, but that's fine. Make that, and make that, and that leaves us with the six for a drain, and that's the smeltery control. Smelter, all basically done. Now I am going to come out here a wee bit. Like so. Uh, put that there, and then the drain goes there. Smelter, I'll put there. Uh, the tank, I will put there. That allows me to put that there. And that there. I can then expand out a little bit here. Perfect. And then I can put faucet, faucet. Done. Now I can come into here. And we are going to... Build. Oh, look. there you go. Didn't even know I didn't get that done. Build this out. So that's that fairly well. Now we do need to build out this way a wee bit. Oh, I forgot to put them away. Uh, where are you? There you are. And the reason we're doing that is for our lava. So we need the blaze mesh, we need the crucible, we need the cobblestone generator, and we need the drawer again. Uh, we also need our transfer node, our liquid transfer node, and our pipes. And we are going to put mesh crucible. Uh, that there. That, oh. That there. Put all that in. Right, transfer node, pipe, and then liquid, and pipe. Perfect. Now, here comes the next fun bit. If I make one of these item barrels, if I can get this stuff quite quickly. So I have paper, I have that, I have that. We're going to make the barrel upgrade. Yeah, it's any start, that's fine. I got a bit confused there. Barrel upgrade. Oh, I can make a lot. Nice. I'm going to throw that on there and get a barrel. Ta-da! Yet another better barrel. Uh, oh, we also get the rack for this. Nice, nice, nice. So we go in here, we claim this, and then we make this here, which is the barrel hammer, which is going to be really cool when we get it. So, barrel hammer is two iron, some wool, so I need some wool. Uh, and I don't have any iron. Quickly make some iron. One. One, not two. One. Two. And we'll get a load of barrels while we're at it, actually. Uh, I think we'll run over here. I'm going to put a barrel here. 
and this one is going to be for a rack just because it's a kind of centralized point where we can see everything now difference between a drawer and a barrel this is one of the reasons why I like it these are more stable than these in the 112 don't know why for this you need to lock it with a key so you need an extra item for this you shift right click and you get the locked now another thing is you need a separate key to get the information to appear up here so the the, the amount of stacks and things that I've got unless you look at the the wire at the top whereas it is you look at it it appears you look away it disappears but if you shift right click again and click this one is true it stays so I now know that I have a stack of 64 plus 46 on their own and that will be like that forever and then once I have the iron sorted I will show you another amazing thing with this so if I click the barrel hammer make it I can shift right click the barrel hammer and I can change the appearance of the barrels so I can go for a bordered block with window a block with window a create the barrel itself and you just do a normal block a slab a panel a cover now a cover it's like that I love the covers in this right but it gets even better because when I claim this I get the barrel painter I can come to the barrel painter here and I can click any block I want like diamond and change it to that oh my goodness me I can go emerald and change it to that and I can go like block of coal black wool birch wood the beacon I could do beacon oh I like that actually for the rack that's quite nice so th th like it's such a good mod to have the yabba and I will be using it all the time now for this because these are good the only reason I'll keep these are for the compacting drawers which I will use for these because like if I just get that straight into the air it's a compacting drawer it'll automatically turn to that and I don't need to worry about compressing them all down and things like that so I'm fine with that and then I'll use the barrels and things like that for items like this uh, five five bar one two three four five five barrels that's all I need and that'll yeah right cool magic so that's that pretty much done next is a, another item we need to get done and we actually need to smelt this one two three four five one two three but not only do we need to smelt that we do need another little thing called the chisel not the same chisel that we have this is a, is, a, is a weird chisel it's the bits chisel this chisel I need to take some bits off of like so and then this block I must get rid of because I will never use it again once this is all smelted we are going to run over here get some slabs and we get a stone barrel now the stone barrel is an amazing little thing we put that into there it automatically fills up with a barrel of lava I get a slab place it on top I then get my chisel bits I place one here one on here and here and if I can get round the back somehow I place one if I can see it right there right and then I can take away this one and now I need a bucket there put that bucket right on top here it will not flow away from the top here and I also get obsidian and then from the obsidian I will get a barrel a transfer node items and some pipes 
so that way I'm no, probably never going to use that again I will put it here and there we go we've got obsidian getting made constantly and that will continue to update by itself automatically I never need to worry about this again this will continue to fill that will continue to fill that will continue to fill and create and generate lava constantly and it'll fill and I will never need to worry and then I'll have obsidian I can create some um, nether portals and then we can get into the nether I'm going to need a wee bit of iron and a wee bit of coal and I'm going to throw both of them in there I think that's 16 millibuckets so that should bring out exactly enough iron and no but we get two ingots of steel which if I do that and there we go, we get one I'm going to get some more iron here. Okay, so that did to 88. So that done 5 gems and a bit. I think 4 will be enough. If not, then I'm pretty screwed. Right, so that's a steel. And then I can run over here, grab a bit of flint, create flint and steel. Unlocking the nether and look at that got exactly enough for a nether portal We'll set that up And we'll get to the nether in the next episode So I hope you have enjoyed today if you have smack that like button if you haven't already smack the like button and subscribe I'll see you all later